So guys, I am back with another Lords of the Fallen video and today guys, I showcase to you an incredible Viga farm you can use and abuse. Well, I'd say it's mid game. It's not, it's not near the beginning of the game. It's mid game. I do have a Viga farm similar to this coming later on today, uh, which you can do early games. A little harder to set up, but hey, it still works perfectly fine. But this is a mid game Viga farm. We can earn probably upwards of 500k per hour. Stay tuned. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so this consists of you trapping the Red Reaper, the Scarlet Shadow. Trapping him to a point where you can just then go on free roam, kill enemies and get a minimum of a three times multiplayer on that Viger gain. Now if you got other means of increasing that Viger gain, uh, which I'll speak about as soon as I've shown you how to set this up, you could get even more Viger. You can get up to like a 5.2 times uh, gain on that Viger. That's what I've seen anyway. So yeah, this is wild. So the closest vestige you can get to is this one right here. The vestige of the Pale Butcher. There's a little bit of a run to do. It's nothing major. But hey, let's go. I'll show you where you got to do this. So you come this way. Run across here. If you haven't got this unlocked, guys, simply use your lantern. Go down one way. Come up the other way. You can just kick this plank down. Then you want to come this way. Ignore all the enemies, by the way, guys. Now, I don't actually know what happens here. When the Xbox Series X, whenever I run into this area, I get some crazy ass lag. It'll probably happen again now. Or probably not. There we go. See, always there. Always there. So just run past these enemies too, guys. You don't want to stand around here. Just run past them. Dodge. Dodge. Dodge away. There we go. Again, there's more to dodge yet. Dodge. Dodge, dodge, there you go. Now run again. Now on your left here, there's going to be a sharp turn left. If you've got one, you want to plant a seed right there. If you can, do it. Do that. From here, guys, you're going to come this way and you're going to make your way up this, uh, this path. Now, if you haven't been here already, there will be a boss up here. He is easy, I'm not going to lie. I mean, he's probably one of the easier bosses in the game. He's quite a slow attacking boss as well. So it's easy, easy to judge his attacks. Uh, but yeah, just come through here guys and the boss will be within here. Then guys, if you want to, you can drop down a seed here if you want to. I wouldn't do that though because it can mess up this actual farm. Then you want to take this lift up, just like so. So take this lift up to the very, very top. Where are you going mate? You ain't going anywhere. You ain't going anywhere. So once you get to the very top, it's actually quite easy what you got to do here. Okay, so... Oh, look at the lag. I mean, what is going on? The dropping patches are left, right, and center. And we still experience some major lag on the Xbox. I'm not sure what it's like on PlayStation or PC, but well, on Xbox. Sometimes it's fine, and sometimes it's just laggy. I know you can uh, quick game at dashboard, and it does it goes all right. So then, guys, you're just what you do here is just simply go into the Umbral Realm. Go into the Umbral Realm. And then what you want to do here, guys, is just wait around. Wait around until you get the Red Reaper spawning. You know this by the eyeball turning that red. So simply so what I'll do is I'll skip the video, otherwise it's going to take a few minutes to do this. That's not what we want. So yeah, I'll zoom in a quick second, guys, and then show you. Okay, so as you can see, guys, the Red Reaper's not far from coming in. What you want to do, guys, here is you want to go and stand on the lift, but don't stand on the center platform. So you go down, just stand near it. When it gets to about 95%, when it, it's almost full, you want to stand on that center platform. Don't leave it too late. It'll just spawn on top of you. If you go too early, it won't work. You have to go at the perfect time, as you saw my eyeball right there. Once you do this, guys, he actually gets stuck up the top because the idiot can't figure out how to use those lifts. Then, guys, just travel down to the bottom, and then you are free to farm, free to uh, free roam the entire area if you want to. And earn tons of that Viger. Now you can just stay in this vicinity right here if you want to. You can stay in this small tight area and take out enemies here if you want to. That's completely up to you. Or you can run around this entire area, guys, and just take out all enemies and get even more Viger. That is just two ways you can do this. But hey, it's so so easy. And as long as you don't go back up that lift, you can continue on doing this forever because the onboard enemies will continuously spawn in. It really is that simple, guys. That is all you have to do. Now, to make this a little more efficient on yourselves, there are a few things you may want to do or keep in mind. 
Firstly, as you probably know, when that red reaper does appear, that eyeball turns red, it disables your ability to use your health potions. But there are a couple things you can do to help yourself here, because if you're going to run around killing enemies, there's a good chance you're going to get hit, so you need a form of getting that health back. Firstly, we have the Broyer Stones. These Broyer Stones, you can slot them into your quick access items and use these in times of need. But there are also a few things you can get as well in regards to rings. We have the Queen Verena 2 ring. This will regen your health slowly over time. I mean, it isn't the best, but it's decent enough. There's also the Ring of Nourishment. With this ring on, you regain that health after every kill. Now keep in mind, as of the 26th of October, we haven't got the latest patch yet. This is getting buffed, so at the minute, when you get a kill, you get 5% health back. But as soon as that patch does arrive, it will be 15% health back on a kill. So that's pretty cool too. Now both of these rings and how you get them, I'll show you at the end of the video. You can also, guys, increase your Viger gains even further. Firstly, the Moth Ring. This will give you a further 10% on those Viger gains. Again, I'll show you how you get this at the end of the video. But if you guys are at the stage of being able to slot runes into your weapons, the Nilak rune is a great one for this. If a weapon which can hold this rune, not all can, if you've leveled it up to a max and collected all three of those rune tablets and handed them into Jolinda, you can also slot in three of these runes to that weapon. The Nilak rune does though decrease physical damage, but if you slot these into a left-handed weapon and then two-hand your main-handed weapon, you shouldn't really feel much of a difference in regards to your damage output. Now the Nilak runes are a super super rare drop from the Mimic Moths. Now these are a one-time spawn as far as I'm aware, this means if you kill them by soul flaying them, they won't reappear. So here I suggest you ignoring them until you've grabbed the first rune tablet and handed it in, otherwise you're wasting your chances of getting these runes as runes don't drop until this point in the game. You can also come back to the Mimic Moths too, so if you remember where they are, don't kill them, just come back to them when you're able to get those runes from enemies. Now if you have Lucky Paws and Charm Paws, i definitely use these to up your chances because again guys, the Nilak room is super super rare. But yes guys, that is all you need in regards to efficiency. There's a few other bits and bobs you can use, but either or guys, you're still going to earn plenty of runes using this farm. So yes, use it and take advantage of it while you can because I guarantee you this will get patched. Now the items I recommend you can use for these are rings. You'll see in how you get them in the background now. Guys, if you've enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next. One.